Good morning, everyone. Is it morning or is it afternoon? I think it's afternoon. Does it really, really matter? Do these intros actually really matter, Jesse? Well, ma'am, let me just tell you, it is 12.06 p.m. This is Cowboy Jesse reporting in from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Um, today we are taking you on a flea market extravaganza. I am looking for some cowboy gear, hopefully for my horse. Uh, I'm looking for a new saddle and a new uh, lasso. What are you looking lasso? for? Lasso? A lasso. It's like country French. Lasso, you know, like the... Lasso? Lasso. Okay. Uh, what are you looking for, ma'am? Nothing. Okay, and we are also going to give you some flea market tips and tricks. Number one tip, do not come at noon. Uh, come at 9 a.m. when it's not so freaking hot. Yeah, that's it. Um, oh, get the preferred parking. It's $15, but we are in the front row. Like, there's nothing between us and the Rose Bowl itself. <laughs> All right. All right, well, let's go. You look cute, though. You look so cute. Oh, thank you, ma'am. I uh, see, so yeah, Anna made me buy this hat a long time ago. Oh, wait, no more <laughs> Cowboy Jesse's got away for a second. Right off the bat, Anna's finding gold for ten dollars. That's kind of cool. Are you getting it? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Now, number one tip is not to buy stuff right off the bat because you want to make sure you get the best deal. Now, Anna just bought a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> from the first vendor she walked into. Is that smart? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, this is the camera guy. Hold on. I gotta go. Finally, something for me. Alright, now we're talking. <laughs> Howdy, partner. You look like you're having a rough day. Oh, very nice, ma'am. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Someone's getting into a fight behind us. I don't know what's going on there. Hey, Anna, can you give me a hand with this? So we uh, we just saw a rug we liked. Rug drama. Question being, do we need it? And. Do we even know what size our hallway is? We're just kind of guessing. Rug drama. Howdy, partners. We are down in Old Town, Pasadena. Just going to get some of them newfangled hippie lunch. Have you kept this up the whole time? Uh, not, not really. Just when I saw something cowboy. But then, like, Old Town, Pasadena kind of sounds cowboy. Does it? So we're headed to the True Food Kitchen. Now, I hear lots of hipsters eat there, but... Maybe I can rustle up some grill that's real good, real delicious. Maybe they got sausages. You're so weird. Good morning, everyone. I am... Wait, let's start this over. It is Tuesday. I'm heading over to the salon. I normally don't go to the salon on Tuesdays, but we are having a class because, you know, you never want to stop learning so you want to continue learning so I'm gonna go there and then I'm gonna get my base done because I have some roots I do my roots like every two weeks um, yeah just cuz you have to do your roots very often when you maintain this light of hair when you're naturally dark it's a very high maintenance color and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next I kind of want to go to jet rag you know Jesse's shooting today so I'm kind of on my own today so yeah, I probably might do that. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, bye. My pleasure to come into your salon because you guys have such a beautiful environment and great team. And I still see familiar faces so clearly you're a great team and that says a lot about your salon. Um, but my name is Stephanie Cashman. For those of you who don't know me, I am an artist for L'Oreal professional. You are looking at that because it's like what we're seeing, the underlying pigment is what is showing here so that you have a better idea of it. So you know what to expect when you see somebody walk in. You, you already have an idea of how warm they're going to be. So it's really, really important um, to take that into consideration, the level you're working with. Like a lot of times, if you drop it down to maybe a level nine, the hair is going to look a lot cooler, even though mentally we're thinking that it's going to look darker because we're in a level nine, it gives you the appropriate uh, coolness or tone you need. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, and that's another reason why we always finish with the end, just because of the fact it seals the cuticle and it's ammonia free as well. So it's just, everything works hand in hand. 
uh, but never feel like embarrassed no matter how long you've been doing hair for like pulling something like this out if you're going to mix up a toner um pull it out put it up to the foil and look at it is it gonna be enough to cover that warmth so that's the purpose of that like typically we'll check into the hair with balayage and just go in and paint um with this i always like to i'll use both brushes too um, I'm so used to this old one that I feel like I go to it more so than the new ones, but you can definitely use whatever you want when you're up here if you want to try the different bristles. Um, so I'll always, this is how I load up my planchette too all the time, just a quick like pointer with balayage. I'll always load it that way and I'm always taking my product towards the left. So I'll, you'll never see me um, like just getting messy with it. Basically I'll always keep this side of it clean in case I want to paint the ends, I can pop them over and actually paint. So until I've painted, obviously, it's just the residue from the lightener there. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm always just loading up on one side and keeping one side for working space. And then typically what I pick up as well is what I'm gonna lay down. So if you notice the amount of lightener I picked up, that's about the size of line or point I'm gonna create once I actually do go to paint the hair. Um, and I'll always start about a half inch down from the root because then you do have the opportunity to feather it back up softer. So I'll go in. And that's what I'm saying with the feathering. And I'll go right back up and just kind of paint it there. Pick up my next one and I'll always work in zones. So depending on what I'm doing, I'm working in zone A before I move down to zone B and C. Like now we have Rigo working. here because trying it out. Here, Pressure's on, on Rigo. Right. Pressure's on. Like, no, I have a balayage coming in and just have everything laid out. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, Megan. Then Hi. Have Hi. Too. So if you do have the kit, you already have the perfect tool. You already did it wrong. I did it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to get this product and start using it because it really is one of the best. And I, 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 did know that. Have I didn't know how you guys get to do it. You're screwing up, Rigo. You're so screwing up. It looks fine. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I think it's, yeah, I think it's good. I'm like, it's like you're yeah, stroking it, we go. You're not really looking too <laughs> much for like, to build it or make it too thick on your paint job. It's too much oh, whatever sticks to uh, your paint job. Like, so I'm not like, yeah. looking for so more. Like, 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 I prefer it actually to be a little bit thinner. Cochino, <laughs> he's joking. And so depending on if you're working with a texture in the paint job. It's going to be a dirty bird. Well, let's say you can use something. Well, it's good. Yeah? Yeah. It looks okay. Like, oh, a newbie. <laughs> you are not a newbie. So now I got my little piece from the way that I'm going to use this. Hold on. I'm going to use this cap as my glue. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you sure? Product um, product but yeah, so depending on whether you're using a textured planchette or a smooth I mean, one, it's, just a it's obviously going to um, apply No, it looks really, on camera, it looks really good. Sure. That's <laughs> good, yeah. I think, well, here... This is the color one, it's not so big, it's the same bristles, but I think he has it. You have man. the textured um, bristles, yeah. Yeah, so, but more. when it comes to applying, she had you mentioned, do I build it up or do I add a lot of lightener onto the planchette? Really, I'm just touching it, I'm not even do you want a different brush? how much, so to speak, I'm building um, on it, because I'm not, I'm just painting my planchette. I think next whatever time for sure, but... Whatever. That's what I want. And that's okay. Because I want to change the look. I think it's okay. I think it's good for your support. Always. It looks great. No? No, come on. No, I'm recording. My job is to record. Hi, Megan. Hi. She's going to do my roots today. Whoa. So it's definitely much later in the day. I'm back at the Casa. Um, my roots are done, yes, 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 and now I'm just walking the dogs, um, so yeah, I hope this vlog was good, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Hey Mookie, do you want to go? Come on, let's go. Come on Mookie, let's go Mookie. Are we going to go anywhere? Mookie. You're so majestic Mookie. Mookie. Mookie.